Are you using hydrogen peroxide? Knock it off. Let me tell you why. Hey guys, this is Dr. John. We're gonna, today we're gonna talk about hydrogen peroxide in a couple of ways. So hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It's a, it's a free radical, basically. It creates a lot of, of, of oxygen and, and hydrogen free radicals around the space, and, and it can actually be quite destructive on tissue. Um, for years, in fact, even me growing up in, the, in, in rural Nevada, my mom used to use hydrogen peroxide to clean my wounds and do all this stuff, and we used to watch it fizzle and think that that was a good thing and it's helping. Um, as a doctor, we never use hydrogen peroxide to clean wounds, and we never use it to treat wounds that are already you know, stitched up or whatever. <laughs> um, I can't tell you how many times I've, seen, uh, I've sent someone home after, after an excision of a basal cell or a squamous cell carcinoma, which, uh, which is part of what I do as a family doc. I cut out with skin cancers and things like that. And, and, they'll, and they'll go and they'll be, they'll have a wound and I'll give them wound care instructions and inevitably they use hydrogen peroxide on it and it ruins the whole thing and it gives a big scar and it looks terrible and uh, and so I just want to talk to you about hydrogen peroxide um, it, if you put it on a wound it actually causes damage to the cells and prevents good healing and so um, it's it's I really don't even use it for washing a wound. If you have a dirty wound, your kid scraped his elbow or his knee, and he's got some rocks and, and dirt and stuff in there. We've actually done really good studies on tap water versus hydro, versus like normal saline, uh, sterile saline, which we use in the, in the doctor's office to clean wounds. And tap water works just as well, if not better, because it's volume. Uh, every time I was I was doing the, doing surgery in the in the OR, the surgeons we always say the solution to pollution is dilution. So if you can get a whole bunch of tap water in there and get all that pollution out, the more the better, right? The more you can dilute out all the bacteria, all the junk, all the clean out the little rocks and stuff, and then just maybe some soap at the end, that's great, and then just leave it alone. Um, honestly, one of the best things you can do for wound healing is, is Vaseline or Aquaphor. Just keep it kind of petroleum jelly, um, moist with some petroleum jelly, and that's really great. Um, that's what I have most of my clients do after a procedure where I, I involve stitches or if I have a laceration repair or something, I just have them use petroleum jelly um, and it works really great. I like Aquaphor, it's kind of fancy Vaseline, but, uh, but yeah, you can do any of those things. Um, yeah, guys, I hope this helps dispel some of the mythology around hydrogen peroxide. I never want to see it again. If I, if I see it, any more mamas using hydrogen peroxide, I just hope to bring some uh, education to that space. Um, again, Dr. John with Voyage Direct Primary Care. Uh, check out our website. We have a, an affordable family medicine subscription model for, for healthcare. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. We'll be putting out educational material like this all the time. Thanks.